Welcome to the overview guide for your Kloss Cruise Pilot. We'll show you how to get the most out of your Cruise Pilot by optimizing its functionality and settings. The Kloss Cruise Pilot automatically controls and adjusts your harvesting speed to maintain optimal harvesting settings. The Cruise Pilot monitors things like ground speed, crop volume in the feeder house, engine load, and grain losses. This allows your combine to run consistently while giving you the best harvest results possible. Your Cruise Pilot features three travel modes, Cruise Control, Output, and Throughput. The Cruise Control setting allows your machine to drive at a constant ground speed, regardless of throughput and engine load. The Output setting ensures your machine drives at an adapted ground speed, depending on the determined throughput in the feeder house. The amount of crop fed into your machine will remain the same. Lastly is the Throughput Travel Mode. We recommend this mode because it allows your machine to drive with a throughput adapted to sieve and rotor losses. And when losses increase, throughput is reduced to ensure minimal loss during harvest. Next, we'll fine tune the settings on your Cruise Pilot. Start by navigating to the gear icon. Then from the Cruise Pilot menu, turn the master switch on. From there, select Strategy. Once strategy is selected, you can adjust the target speed when running in cruise control mode. Adjust target throughput when running in output mode. Learn zero throughput and set maximum ground speed. For now, we'll set the sensitivity to standard and we'll fine tune it later. To learn zero throughput, start by engaging your rotor drive. Then engage your header drive and run your engine at full throttle. Make sure no crop is going through your machine at this time. After your rotor drive is engaged, navigate to your gear icon and select the Cruise Pilot menu. Then, select Learning Zero Throughput. Press OK and wait for a confirmation that says, Learning Procedure Successfully Concluded. Once you see this message, exit the menu by pressing the Escape key. Now it's time to learn throughput. Start by harvesting and run your machine manually at a comfortable harvesting speed. Then, press and hold the A button on the drive stick for three seconds until you hear a beep. Cruise Pilot learns throughput with associating loss level. To activate Cruise Pilot, press the A button for a maximum of two seconds. To deactivate Cruise Pilot, move your drive stick or step on the brakes. To access the Cruise Pilot hotkey menu, Turn the hotkey dial switch to the 9 o'clock position. Then adjust the throughput. We recommend setting the preset value close to your current throughput value. You can increase the preset value if the throughput is limiting your machine's ground speed. The number on the display is only an indicator of crop layer thickness in the feeder house. This number depends on the crop type and condition. The Cruise Pilot hotkey menu will display icons to alert you of any eliminating elements that are limiting ground speed. The throughput icon means the preset maximum throughput is reached as measured by the sensor in the feeder house. Engine load indicates the maximum diesel engine load is reached. The engine protection icon will appear in case of an engine speed drop due to sudden extreme loads and the ground speed will be heavily reduced. The maximum set ground speed icon will display once the maximum set ground speed is reached. Separation losses indicate the rotor loss limit has been reached. Cleaning losses mean the sieve loss limit has been reached. And the returns volume symbol indicates the returns volume limit has been reached. The unloading mode icon comes up when the unloading auger is engaged. The ground speed is reduced by 5% and kept constant as long as the unloading auger is extended. The reduced, constant ground speed is maintained for 30 seconds after unloading is complete. The unloading mode can be overwritten by pressing the A button. The turning mode appears upon leaving the header working position or when no more material can be measured coming through the feeder house. The machine continues with a constant ground speed. Next, we're going to set your loss sensor calibration. Adjust your loss sensor sensitivity so the loss sensor triangles are filled up by 80%. Please note that changing the sensitivity doesn't affect the actual loss rate. But by doing this, the machine can react immediately to increased losses when it is driving uphill. 
To complete the law sensor calibration, turn your CBIS dial switch to the 10 o'clock position to adjust SIV losses. Turn that same dial to the 11 o'clock position to adjust rotor losses. Sensitivity of the calibration depends on the crop you're harvesting and the conditions you're harvesting in. A lower number leads to higher throughput. A higher number leads to fewer losses. Lastly, we'll adjust the sensitivity for your cruise pilot. Start by accessing the gear icon. From there, select the cruise pilot menu. Then, select the sensitivity setting. The more aggressive your sensitivity setting, the faster your machine will speed up and slow down. A less aggressive sensitivity setting means a smoother ride. We recommend beginning with the standard sensitivity and increasing the sensitivity until your machine starts surging. Once your machine surges or jolts, dial the sensitivity setting back by one level and set it there. For more information on the full line of Kloss products, parts or services, visit us online at kloss.com.